750 hours since we started this adventure. The system remains the same. Taking on work one step at a time but doing the step with consistency even when it gets hard. As the EU server will start at the end of the month, I try my best to get the highest tier gear I can get my hands on before I join it. I start the week with one of my new favorite weapons, the Shadow Caller. A fellow cursed brother tries to bait me with his gathered gear. What he doesn't know is that we are playing the same game, but this time I have his counter. I let him dismount and make sure to bait his boots while getting in a good position where I can heal from mobs with my E. This way I stay alive enough to finish him off after his undead cape procs. 3 million for the bank. This is the build that I recommend using. Another round, another hero. A prowling staff, it's on the hunt. I get myself dismounted and try to fight using the wrong Q. I end up losing the first round but I manage to disengage and change up my abilities. In the second one he misses one of his polymorphs ability so I can go for an easy and secure kill 1.6 million in our bank. To get to the point to be able to afford a shadow color build, I use my favorite weapon, the Curse Staff. A battle bracer insists on stealing our arcane spider, so I'm waiting for him to leave his guard down and go for the steal. 550k from him and 300k later from the arcane spider. A dual swords rat thinks he can outsmart me when I clearly hoard the AP advantage. It's not the best matchup for us in general, but if you change your Wii to grudge, it should be easy enough to finish lower IP players. Another 600k for the bank. Open objectives in the mist, like the arcane spider, are a good silver resource for the curse users. We catch a carving while doing one, even though we don't manage to catch him the first time, he fights us on his own will and I cash in another 850k as he doesn't use his defensives properly. Catching a blood letter in the abyss is not an easy feat if you're playing Kerstaffs. For some reason our friend misses an exit so he gives up and I cash in 600k. What most likely happened it was a bug as his body was showing in another spot as opposed to where he died. Swords in general are a hard matchup when you play with Curse Staff. In this case, we managed to win because he forgets to change his W, otherwise, as he pours mine, I would have been dead even with the high AP build. Another 700k for the bank. Another counter for the Curse Staffs are the Spears. As my build was already overcharged, I get greedy and I try to fight a similar AP Spear. He has too much sustain, so I end up dead in a matter of seconds. Minus 10 million on the bank. Trying to get objectives that are showing on the map is not always safe. A dead giver learns it first hand. He sees me coming but doesn't back off so I go and do my main combo. As he eats me with the cultist skull on I secure another 600k for the bank. Just because you have a Mistwalker jacket and you can counter my E with your carving sword, it doesn't mean you should always engage in battle. It's important to know when to retreat. 
I don't mind though as I bank in another 450k. Abbeys are high risk and high reward. Another rat caught in our web, another 350k for the bank. Speaking of risk, fighting or going for the open abbey chest, when you have low AP and starting a fight it might always backfire on you. When two people are fighting the curse always wins. Another 500k for the bank. Our first verdict game while using the shadow color is a nature staff. One of my favorite weapons to kill in the mists. Very easy to put in combat and not too much mobility. Another 600k for the bank. What I like most about the Shadow Call build is the dominance you can exert over lower IP players and also on open map objectives like the Wisps. This Great Axe wanted to give me a donation so I cash him for another 390k. One of the best counters for the shadow color it seems to be the life curse. On similar IP you might think you are even but if they purge your buffs, overcharges and place his defensive well you are going to down before him. Minus 3 million for the bank. If you manage to save up for a higher IP build, you'll manage to control a lot of the open map objectives even if the lower IP players will gank up on you. You're still going to get alive in the fight while caching what's important. This battle bracers, one hand dagger and badon let me test on them and I cash in another 1 million for the bank. Reality always hits when you don't expect it the most. Trying to kill a battle axe with my 8.2 shadow build, I mess up my healing combo and end up losing another 10 million. No worries, from mistakes we learn. At the moment of recording this video, I maxed out all my curse tasks and I have reverted myself to an 8.1 set to find some silver. I'm new to this game, but by applying what I know, what I learned from others, and by practicing step by step, I'll become the best for at least one aspect of this game. If you want more tips on how to win more, check out the video that I left on the right, and remember, always and forever, better support wins.